All right, today we have another paint job. It's called Wasp. A couple people have uh, suggested it, so we decided to do it. We're going to be using yellow, black, gray, and white. It can also be like B camo, whatever. I don't know. We're sunny places. And um, we've already primed the gun. If you don't know what priming is, it's just a base coat. Uh, before the base coat. It's a pre-base coat, if that makes any sense. And our first coat is going to be yellow. It's going to cover the whole gun yellow. And right now I'm using Krylon. It's a really good paint. It's got a nice nozzle. And you can paint really fast with it. Alright. That's the first coat. And we're going to go on to the next coat, which is going to be white. And now for the white, we have special stencils for this. We printed out a camouflage and then cut out stencils with an X-Acto knife. We have about nine or ten of them here. And uh, we're going to use it, use them for the gun. And for the first um, coat, you're going to want to use the big ones. Sure these. And do I see? Black. Now I have smaller stencil here for the second coat. And um, try to use different stencils. Don't just use one for the whole coat. I'm changing between two or three of them. All right, um, now we're going to gray. You can do um, gray before you do black, but I forgot because I wasn't thinking right, but usually you want to do um, the lightest color first. Or else you have to spray a lot to cover up the darker uh, spots. It's really annoying. And this is the final product before it's dry. Alright, here's the final product. It's all dried. Um, you can either do this with orange instead of yellow or just yellow. This is more like bumblebee. But um, orange or yellow. It's wasp camo. And you're going to want to tape up functional things like the bolt catch, the um, selector switch, and the trigger. And we just unscrewed the flash hider and took out the magazine while we were painting it. And there's the final, cam uh, the final product of Wasp Camo.